नमस्ते हाउ यू डूइंग हाउ यू फ्रेंड्स विल वेट फॉर सम मोर टाइम गौरव इज ऑल्सो ज्वाइनिंग इन इट बी नाइस टू टू हैव मोर पीपल इन हियर एंड इट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग वेबिनार to um to understand how to meet expectations of your guests at home stays there are so many ifs and buts that um, have cropped up you know after uh, especially after covid when people started to use home stays for their outings and started to avoid um hotels so um, let me welcome kagandeep ji mahinder ji anand ji susanna madhuvanti mary arvind ji rathor saab alok saab many many people are here already thank you for joining today for today's webinar it's an important one understanding how to meet expectations people started to uh, compare hotels with home stays um, with pricing with various other means so I'm, i i been through earlier webinars um, talking about how to how to set the usp how to manage the places um, what should be the visitors experience or how to build up experiences so those earlier webinars are already there and this one is about meeting expectations i'm going to wait for my colleague gorav to join me as well uh, gorav got locked off i think he has a technical glitch somewhere we'll just wait for a couple of more minutes and we get started <clears throat> namaste ji namaste namaste to all my friends um there are people who are here today uh shayad wo hindi mein zyada samajhte honge kyunki wo kuch remote area se aaye hain to is it okay if i also talk in hindi in the middle i won't be interpreting everything because the flow will not be consistent but if required i will switch over to hindi in the middle and feel free to put your questions here you know whatever questions that you've got uh put them in the chat so that i can answer them as i go along or maybe right in the end and in case if there's an internet glitch and i go off don't worry about it just stay online and the system reboots itself in no time um i have a panic button here which i'll press and then i get logged back in am i absolutely clear audible agar main audible hu to can you just type yes in the chat so i know that i'm audible <coughs> good evening sarel can you check if i'm completely audible okay thank you thank you madhavanti ji thank you thank you very much okay i'll get started now hoping that um um my colleague gaurav will join me okay um welcome to Asian Adventures webinars and today it's all about boosting your homestay business meeting expectations of the guests and uh, I'd like to welcome all the participants here again I'm going to start with the slide show here so uh, quickly telling you why are we doing these webinars um, this is directly in line with our vision vision of converting every tourist into an eco tourist helping travel industry adopt the ways and means of eco tourism this is the 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 vision of the company and what will be your take away so as homestay owners or as eco tourists you'd be able to understand the challenges of the homestays and the guests and how to mitigate them so you'd be able to influence the visitors mindset to convert them into eco tourists this is largely it and 
how much work these webinars will entail the step by step process like i said we've already done a few earlier and this is probably the fourth one it will finish um, the entire series will finish over 10 months in the meantime people who attended these have already started to set up the usps if you still have questions about usps and earlier webinars feel free to get in touch with me and i can help you So like I said that the other ones, the first one that we did was creating the USP. Then the second one we did was uh, management and compliances. The third one that we've done is experiences and value addition, sorry, visitor management. And uh, now we're doing meeting expectations. Welcome Gaurav. Um, Hina, sorry, been, uh, no, no, no problem. No problem. This is the world of internet. Don't worry. Um, this frees us from all the guilt that we can have. So don't worry about it. And um, Hinaji, you can get previous recordings um, in our YouTube channel. We'll send you the links. Don't worry. So a bit about me for those people who don't, uh, who haven't attended my webinars earlier. I am Mohit Agarwal and I'm blessed with four children and son and a daughter and two non-humans. One is a Labrador and the other one is KP African Cree. He just landed in my lap from somewhere. Professionally, I'm an experiential ecotourism specialist and I help people travel to some wonderful places in Asia. I've been trained by GSTC in sustainable tourism and I'm on the board of Asian Ecotourism Network. And uh, I also am the founder of Asian Adventures, which is a 28 year old nature centric company. It's the largest uh, ground handler of bird watching operations, bird watching tour operations in India. We have a company called Natty Netta, which is an eco-centric um, digital marketing company helping um, helping various outfits like zoos and uh, eco-centric um, organizations and organic products, which help further help mother nature. These companies are on a large mission to help Asian elephants with their corridors, free the Himalayas of plastic waste. Saving pangolins of gear is a new one that we started, helping small wildlife NGOs and conserving the old ancient Himalayan temples. So that's close to my heart. And uh, this is a bit about Gaurav. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, good evening, everyone. Namaste. Uh, my name is Gaurav Nalpur. I am an avid bird watcher and I've had a deep love for nature since I was a child. Uh, I'm also a strong believer in using wildlife tourism uh, as a tool to raise awareness and aid conservation. Professionally, I'm training to be an ecotourism specialist, uh, as, and I especially enjoy working with community tourism stakeholders. Educationally, I'm qualified as a wildlife biologist, and, and I'm especially interested in bird behavior. I've uh, worked on urban bird diversity, I've worked on giant squirrels in the Western Ghats, and bird niches in the Himalayas. And uh, for the last four years, I've been lucky to work with uh, Mohit Agarwal and Asian Adventures, uh, both of whom share my vision of using wildlife awareness, uh, wildlife tourism as a means of helping save the natural world. Thanks. Wonderful, wonderful, uh, Gaurav. So <clears throat> there, are, uh, there are a lot many companies that are now talking about um, uh, ecotourism and sustainable tourism. And two of them that we are close to is one is Asian Ecotourism Network and the other one is Planet Era. And then there are other ones um, in India, which is TOFT, of which we are members, uh, tour operators for tigers. They're doing some good work. And then there are um, uh, uh, there are other uh, NGOs which are working towards conservation of waders called Vader Quest. And there's another one called Global uh, Birding, which is which holds um, um, fairs, birding fairs um, in England, and Asian Asian Bird Fair, which has um, a, a bird fair every year in some country or the other of Asia. So, so, so there are some really good organizations doing some good work, and we are trying to do our own bit, um, you know, here and there. So, some of the three. Uh, so three webinars that we've done so far, uh, creating a USP, management and compliances, and visitor man management. A lot of elements from these webinars you will see in this one because uh, they, they are all connected with each other. 
and uh, you need to understand these three to be able to work better on this one which is to uh, which is uh, related to meeting expectations so meeting guests needs and expectations ensuring satisfaction and repeat business converting tourists to eco tourist is the job of this particular webinar to to talk about friends uh, again i'm saying if you've got questions go on putting those questions in the chat and gaurav and i will have time to reply to your questions this one this particular webinar is particularly a long one i'm not going to spend so much time talking about so many things in detail because uh, you can't grasp so much at one go right so guest expectation what are guest expectations usually it's a a hotel is just a place to spend the night but people come to small boutique places small hotels small places or home stays for experiences for and of course the expectations are hygiene comfort good food good service modern amenities and a lot of people would think that they will get the same comforts that they would get in big hotels which may be a fallacy because it is sometimes not true and it doesn't happen so the expect other expectations people who are seasoned travelers or who understand home stays and boutique places they understand that value add adding experiences are required um, or if the jargon is all about sustainability then that's also their goal honesty integrity this is what they are looking for when they come to a home stay when they're talking to individuals and then they're not talking only to an automatic system <clears throat> I, i must tell you that uh, uh, my colleague and i went recently to korea and we were staying in a hotel in sancheon where there was nobody we just walked in we typed uh, our booking reference a piece of paper came out that piece of paper had the code for the elevator and then once you reach your floor there was a code for your room and it said that take a photo of this and store it in your phone just in case if you lose it then you'll have to get back to their their call center or service center uh, to give you help so there was nobody and then whatever that you need is done digitally so it's a very impersonal sort of a um, hotel scenario so this is not where home stays are they are uh, they are not so technologically savvy and they um, and they are more people driven for people as well i so there are many stages of meeting expectations the first stage is what are you promising when you making a booking for your visitor what is it that you promising so you promising your usp you remember we talked about usp how to set the usp it's it's an intense thing and you must know if you don't know you go through that webinar it will help you otherwise ask particular question and we'll help you anyway we're going to show you how to build that usp so depending on the usp they've chosen you they selected you either on airbnb or online or they've heard about you or they've seen you uh, in social media or somehow or the other so photos of your rooms grounds on the website spaces you know and then activities that you're going to give them facilities advertised discounts if you've given them comforts personalized service so all these things they are expecting because you have promised them if you promise them all these things they will they will be expecting it right so so make sure that what you promising is what you going to deliver or what your whatever your deliverables are are the only promises you make yeah so for example if you're a wildlife place then jungle safaris or you know they expect you to take them for a jungle safari a lot of people come to us to gear and they make a booking online and 
then they expect to go for a jungle safari but the thing is the permits are sold out what do you do right so if i run a place in gir national park and the permits are sold out or in bandavgarh or in corbett then what do you do so do you have a backup to take people out for nature walks yeah or are you going to just tell them sorry sir you never asked us and we never told you you know you uh, we don't have any safaris and there are no safaris so what is going to happen people are going to go back unhappy and when they are unhappy they feel cheated so they feel that they haven't got their money's worth then the first target is you is the homestay owner why didn't he tell us this why did this not happen right so if you got some alternate arrangement fantastic then you know you can you can make them slightly more happy hmm. so so nature walk is one or let's say any other activity um but remember that these are the promises that you making that these are the things that i can do for you so so they have those expectations depending on whatever that you projected and now the next step is once they're there what do they take for granted they may take uh, for granted that you're going to give them a welcome drink you're going to hug them when they come you know that the housekeeping is fantastic clean cleanliness is there food has to be good because it's home food they come into a homestay they come into a small boutique place they come into they expect that the food will be good and it will not be commercial stuff and and why not so in a homestay i believe that's my belief and i think it should be the way uh, forward for everyone कि घर में जो भी हम खाते हैं कम से कम उतने लेवल का तो हम दें सो आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट हाई क्लास स्टफ और वेरी एक्सपेंसिव इंग्रेडिएंट्स बट इट लीज व्हाट वी हैव इज द क्वालिटी दैट वी मस्ट सर्व टू आवर गेस्ट इफ नॉट दैट मच नॉट लोअर देन दैट नो वे एंड देन यू नो इट्स टेस्टी हेल्दी फूड यू एंश्योर दैट यू नो व्हाट हेल्दी फूड इज ऑल अबाउट गुड सर्विस knowledgeable team this is what they uh, they take it for granted that they have knowledge in the niche they know how to uh, do things and then because most of these places are not sop driven any signs any sort of sign will go a long way in delivering your message so have as many signs as you can you know of different things talk about the usp of the place talk about traditions culture uh, menu which you going to serve do's and don'ts you know there could be a dog barking all night long because there's a leopard around around your lodge and people can have disturbed sleep so all they're going to do is um, they will say oh i didn't sleep well and uh, this is a useless space so i'm going to put in a complaint in trip advisor they goes your business right so you put those signs then safety is what they're taking for granted car parking you know you may not have intercom you may not have telephones in the rooms to uh, room service or whatever but have you told them that because they will just take it for granted then they will say oh you're charging us 7000 rupees 5000 10000 rupees a night but this is the price of a five star so you must make them understand that your prices are high because your lodge could be seasonal or it could be doing only 9 months of the year business your inputs are much higher because you're not technology driven and if you don't make that profit you can't keep up your building intact you cannot pay for your uh means you're not just doing farming you're also taking care of them you're also getting clean sheets and you're also getting their you know gas cylinders from 30 km across or you're lugging them on your back and taking them to your lodge so all that stuff you need to clarify and tell people which otherwise they will take things for granted those things which you get in the cities right first thing you must understand as homestay owners 
encourage people not to bring their urban city with them if i'm living in delhi i want to take delhi with me and look what is happening to corbett national park or any other wildlife area or any other nature centric area they are creating that infrastructure because they are allowing people to bring their urban wants with them they want a swimming pool they want this they want that all those things discotheques and cafe coffee day and mcdonalds and all those things in rural areas why because wherever we go we take our urban city along if we are going from ahmedabad we don't have to take ahmedabad along with us to gir let gir be gir am i making myself clear if i am making myself clear uh, or if you got questions please please put them in chat if you think that i'm going off tangent you can put that in chat too as homestay owners the, it's your responsibility to set the expectations right for your customer i'm just giving you various dimensions to look at okay thank you avinder ji thank you so warm welcome depending on um you know wherever you are um you know whatever your way of welcoming people is show it show as much as you can whatever you going to deliver photos collaterals take photos from your mobile phones mobile phone photos are fantastic you don't have to go all the way to look for a professional photographer to do things so uh so many ways of putting these things together where is the library where is your cottage um write it with your hands you don't need to go to a, a place where they can photoshop everything and print it on flex flex anyway is banned now so you shouldn't be using it and anyway the idea is to go organic as much as possible and then there are pleasant surprises you know which you can give them for example if i'm sitting in a home stay and the lady of the house comes and she says oh i just plucked these strawberries in the morning for you and um, they were all across we, you know we are quite tired of eating these strawberries every day but you hear for the first time how about dipping them in you know some condensed milk and throw some conflicts on them and i'll tell you they're delicious hmm? so they will love these sort of little, little things for which you don't charge not everything has to be charged not everything has to be parleji dirty biscuit right it doesn't have to be those cheap quality kurkure or things that you need to serve to your clients you just make some nice stuff what you make for your children in your kitchen and while you're making it for them take out one extra plate and give it to your guest how did it matter right so gifts local gifts sweets small handicrafts souvenirs you know whatever that you've got in stock just just share it with your guest right something you can sell but they like surprises everybody loves surprises yeah it's like telling anyone you know that you're my best friend or i love you or it's it's as simple as that it just showing your your authenticity your integrity your honesty your your love for your guest and that is a very pleasant surprise it goes a long way that's what people remember they may not remember like i went to brussels i stayed in a very nice place but um, but i don't remember the name of that place but i remember that man's face and his name so i sent him a message he he contacted me on facebook i said i can't remember what your what's the name of the place so he told me the name of his place and then i told him i said you must start sending out your monthly newsletters to people so that it's so there's recall value and people love it because they've had such great relationship with that that particular moment that time right so you can give freebies discounts you know you say okay i've got um, uh usually we charge about 400 rupees for this but i'll tell you what i have nobody else to feed these things and take 50% off you know 
and order it twice so that you know you enjoy this and there's much speciality talk about it tell them how it's made take them to your kitchen hmm? sit down with them take them to your neighbor's house and say hey i'm going for a little chit chat for a cup of tea would you like to come along you yeah? so so they become part of your family personal attention and adding experiences local delicacies personal areas in the house maybe you can take them to your own prayer room puja room and you open it and you say this where you meditate this where my grandfather used to sit or this is his personal collection of of match boxes or knives or uh, coin collection you know or this is where my my grandfather came from and uh, and i still have certain things you know so give them the stories that don't don't cook up a story if you want to cook up a story then tell them it's a cooked up story and say that i'm a great storyteller and i can cook up stories for you you know so nobody will go uh, unhappy because i'll just um uh, i'll just create something for you yeah eco friendliness how eco friendly are you how how many plastic chairs you've said no to and how how much of uh, plastic garbage or anything that you throw throwing around or what are you doing with it how are you carrying it back from pangot to haldwani in a in a in a jeep every month you know how are you collecting it what are you doing to protect architecture these little 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 hundreds of these stories and you will not have these hundred stories written down anywhere or in your head all the time you may be in a bad mood because uh, you know something happened so you can put a sign explaining that you can put a piece of paper explaining that right so so if you've got 1000 stories at least pen down 10 and keep them there for them to read if you've got 10000 stories put down 1000 over a period of time and let them be there for them to read i have some some old registers which are lying there where we where people write what they've seen today in terms of birds at the birding lodge in pagbot it's not updated regularly but sometimes people write and i'm okay with that so people people like to go through it you know it's there it's it's a newness of the entire thing so these are pleasant surprises huh no? then yeah so these are all like homemade sweet meats you know shakarparas laddus um already if you um if you guys are the mouth is salivating then you can go grab one from your fridge i can wait so so till now this is this is only in a nutshell friends this is not um uh, an exhaustive list of things but you can do an exhaustive list of things depending on you what your usp is unique selling proposition is where you are what your landscape is what your spaces are uh, what is the tradition culture how far are you from a main city who are your clients how do they come all those things put together they form your usp because you are only catering to certain kind of audience and not to everybody anyway you got less number of rooms so you can't sell it to everybody hmm. then the fourth point is farewell hmm. and post visit engagement like i was telling you about this man who is in brussels who kept in touch with me uh, it was really nice and he and he said next time you come you come and stay with me although it was just a regular hotel he he didn't have to do that but uh, but he did yeah so post visit engagement so communicating through inclusivity oneness you know you can send them a, a new year card or send them a whatsapp message and uh, once they've left you know in india when people leave home they are given um they given something sweet like sugar or um, 
cardamom or something on in their hands so that they, they you know when uh, when they're leaving it's like stay safe have a great journey so so what we do is we give them little shakar paras little things in in a little jute bag each one gets about two of them when they reach home somebody from the lodge will call in ask have you reached safely was the journey okay i'll tell you even if they've got something negative brewing up in their mind it just melt away yeah so so they may have mixed emotions oh i paid a bit too much maybe it was not worth the money or whatever then they say what the hell they're such great people i dealt with such honest people so beautiful people i dealt with who didn't care about you know every small thing or uh, care about charging us for every small thing i think it was a beautiful experience and that is what you want this is where your repeat business come from your cost of acquisition client acquisition drops drastically because then you've got people who just want to come back to you or send you referral business right so um you can ask them for testimonials you can ask them for feedback you can tell them tell me what was bad here because i know that you'll say everything was good because you and i are friends now but honestly tell me what was bad here because then i can improve upon if you don't tell me what was bad nobody else is going to tell me what was bad so you come you 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 encourage them to tell you any small shortcoming or great shortcoming that you have so asking for reference say you know the business sort of drops in off season but i will do yoga training or i will take people out for um uh, you know vegetable uh, plantation or uh, send your friends here if they want to come for a cheap holiday at that point of time because i won't have any business so i can drop my prices and various things yeah so should tell them about it so farewell and post visit engagement is the key to your success of a home stay it is not about only meeting expectation while they're there or fulfilling the promises or putting those elements in which they they are expecting any ways or they want to take it for granted it is this part my friend it is this part which is the game changing part for you mm. um i want to know if if people are happy with what i'm telling them till till now or um they they've got other questions or something is going on in their minds uh, do pen it down in the chat please testimonial reviews um go a long way because um you know i can i can i can have 50 of my friends say give me testimonials right but it's a clear cut um signal you can make out what is what is right and what is not you don't need facebook algos or google algorithm to uh, to tell you whether it's fake or it's it's, it's not fake so types of experiences uh, uh gora why you back yes can you take on from here yeah yeah sure uh, yes, so as we've talked sorry uh, so yeah, as we've talked about uh, many people will come to home stays for the fact that they will have experiences as opposed to a hotel which will have a non personalized approach <clears throat> so some of the uh, types of experiences you can have are nature based for example if you are a safari lodge or if you're located in a place that has rich wildlife you can provide them with safari bookings guided nature walks guided bird watching walks maybe even uh, a trek if you're in the mountains or near a hill or something you can have culture based where you take them on a city village walk show them uh, monuments show them uh, people living you know local traditional life show them uh, maybe take them out for a traditional meal Uh, take them to nearby temples monuments uh, all these things uh, performing arts you know you can do this if you have the facility you can have uh, traditional dances you can have traditional plays in your grounds for example quite a few lodges in rajasthan have uh, 
performing musicians who come and perf uh, perform for the guests. Uh, you can have a traditional, uh, you can showcase your own uh, tradition. You can have a cooking class, you know, make local delicacies. Uh, I'll, a big one, Sarai, our uh, Himalayan Spiritual Wellness Lodge that's located in Jage Jageshwar, where uh, we serve only sattvic food. So many people come and, you know, they say that, you know, the sattvic food they make is something that's not tasty or something that people don't like. So uh, a lot of times we give, uh, you know, a short cooking class on how they can make uh, actually really good farm fresh uh, sattvic food that is really tasty. Uh, similarly, spiritual and wellness. Maybe you can have a guided yoga and meditation program. Uh, you can have spa facilities in your uh Sorry, in your homestay. And you can have other recreational things like, you know, maybe bonfire or you can have a few board games or sports uh, paraphernalia. So bird watching, for example, is part of our nature based activities. Trekking. Then you take people on village walks. This is especially really uh, a great uh, thing for foreigners who really love seeing uh, traditional life. You can take them to visit monuments. They can be monuments in the nearby town. They can be uh, somewhere that's, you know, a day trip away. Uh, traditional dances, performing arts, cooking classes, then pottery classes, your spa, bonfire, games. So when you have all these experiences, you have to create them, of course. So, you know, how do you go about creating them? So first of all, you have to look at your location and identify the strengths. You know, is your play, is your uh, homestay located near a well forested area? Is it located, you know, nearby? Are you back? Yeah, sorry. Uh, did I miss? Did I? Yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. You've gone off. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah. I'll just repeat this slide in case I wasn't uh, audible before. Uh, when you create experiences, the first thing you have to do is look at your location and identify its strengths. Uh, look at the environment. Look at uh, whether you have beautiful forests, whether you have lovely temples nearby. Do you have a village where you can do a guided village walk? And using that, you build a USP and match it to your target audience. So uh, we already have our uh, first webinar that we did on building a USP. But basically, for those who haven't attended, USP is your unique selling point. What is the thing that's setting you apart from other homestays? So you have to build that. Uh, you can go through our uh, webinar recording to see how you can build it. And you, match your, you find your target audience. Who are the people you want to market your homestay to. Uh, then once you've got your USP and your target audience, you simply make a quick analysis. Uh, you know, what are the collaterals? What are the spaces that you have? What can you buy? What are your marketing tools? Do you, you have, um, you know, management tools? Do you have social media? Do you have a website? And avoid the temptation to follow your competition. You know, okay, that homestay is doing this. He seems pretty successful. We can just follow his model. It's a very tempting thing to do. It might work as well, but you forget that the person you are trying to emulate is already established in the business. Whereas you have to do something new to kind of break through into the market. So set your goals and uh, attempt to be a visionary for your region. You know, set a goal that, you know, in a couple of years, when people think of your location, your lodge should be the first thing, your lodge or homestay should be the first thing that comes to the minds. So look at your environment, look at the nearby architecture. And of course, once you have all this, you have to provide spaces in your lodge. You know, obviously you have spaces like your rooms or cottages, you have your uh, lawn, garden, uh, you know, maybe a flower garden. But you also have to look at spaces that you're giving based on your USP. If you're a wellness lodge, you will need a yoga or meditation room or a prayer room. 
if you are a uh, wildlife lodge, you will need maybe a birding hide or a birding point or uh, maybe, a, you know, a nearby uh, place you can get into the forest. If you're a place that's marketing culture, do you have a room where you've kept ancestral items or uh, local souvenirs? So assess, uh, once you see how you have these, that whether you have these spaces or not, you have to manage them well. So you can assess how you're managing these spaces in your home state. Uh, we have a previous webinar. Our second webinar, I think, was on management and compliances. So we go into a lot of detail on that uh, topic in, in that webinar. So I won't go into much details here. And then finally, you have to assess what your customers will want. So like uh, Mohit already mentioned, you have to uh, try and guess uh, what they are taking for granted. Uh, what are you already advertising? These are the things that customers will want from these spaces and what, what they want from you. And what can you actually provide? So you have to do an analysis on, you know, whether you can actually provide them with what they're expecting. So if you're a wellness lodge, do you have a sacred room? If you're, you know, uh, if you're marketing yourself as a weekend escape, do you have a library maybe? Maybe a sun deck or a sunset point, a souvenir shop? If you're a birding lodge, do you have bird watching points? Do you have some place where you can take them to see local traditional food being prepared? So now that you are able to provide for all these guests, you're providing for what you've advertised and what they're taking for granted. But you have to take it to the next level. You have to not only meet these expectations, but you have to exceed them so that, uh, you know, in the future, they recommend your business to their friends and, you know, their referrals and testimonials are amazing and get you more business. So the first step is refining the management to make these experiences flawless. You know, uh, make sure that uh, your bird watching tours are without any glitches that your guided village walks are, you know, uh, perfect. There's no problems whatsoever. Uh, you can do some cross-selling and upselling for your guest benefit. Uh, I'll get into cross-selling and upselling in detail in the next uh, slide. Then add value to your experiences. Okay. Make, do that little 1% extra just so that your experiences are amazing. Antis anticipate your guest need, uh, guest needs. This will of course come better with time. But, uh, you know, this will, it's always a great thing to anticipate. Then addition of novelty. You know, as time goes, uh, once you are established and maybe three, four years old, you can't keep providing the same things over and over again. Look for new experiences to add. Maybe you can uh, change, your, change or modify the cuisine you offer. Uh, maybe you can add new facilities. You can uh, add a new library, for example. Or you can, if you're a birding lodge, if you have the area, maybe you can have another hide where people can see and photograph birds. And of course, use guest feedback, like Mohit said, which will help you fine tune and improve your facilities. You can find out, uh, you can take their constructive feedback. You can see what is wrong, you know, where there is room for improvement and go ahead with improving these experiences for them. So these are some of the tools that you can use for management and regular planning. Uh, voice notes, notepad apps, you know, these come in every smartphone. You don't even need to download them. Uh, Google calendars and Google reminders, every Android phone already comes with them. And then you can use online tools like Todoist or, you know, uh, get your team to in the habit of creating a weekly schedule. This can be done on Google Docs as well. It's not, uh, you know, we don't really need specialized apps for this. And of course, you have to use your USP jargon to uh, market your experiences. So on your social media website, brochures, you know, uh, market your USP, tell them why you are unique, why you are better than your competition. Uh, I'm using the word competition, but uh, it's not a word I really like to use because I'm always of the opinion that instead of comp competing, you are all in the game together. So, for example, these are some of uh, this is an example of bro a brochure or you can use your social media to market, you know, everything from WhatsApp to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. You can advertise everything on your website. 
and you can have qr codes uh, you know you can develop qr codes have them at your reception have them in your dining area maybe put them on the room on the room service so they can scan these qr codes it can take them to a uh, you know maybe your website or your social media page where they can read more about you and manage these experiences you know uh, get your team on manage uh, management uh, tools it's very useful uh, face by fa face to face meetings are not always possible especially if you have a team that is spread out over areas so things like zoom and google meet uh, are a great way to network with your team uh, google keep and mind map uh, you can uh, google keep comes in most phones nowadays or you can download it from the app store mind map uh, search for it on the internet it's very easy to find so these are things that can help you uh, basically put your thoughts onto paper so that you know it's not everything everything is concrete for you to look at okay like i said cross selling and upselling i'll get into it now so cross selling is basically encouraging your guest to buy a related item or service so for example if your guests are going for a nature walk uh, sorry if your guests are going for safaris in in your lodge in bandugar or gir or something you can say uh, you know you have some time tomorrow morning if you really love nature why don't you go for a nature walk so you know you are cross selling you are really selling them a related item okay uh, you know if someone is going for a village walk or a temple a uh, temple visit you can say uh, oh did you like the temples do you want to see more of uh, everyday life maybe you can take a guided village walk or you know uh, <clears throat> or vice versa you know if they go in for a village walk you can always take them to visit a nearby temple or monument and upselling is basically when you are encouraging your guest to purchase an upgrade uh so if you have a standard room you can maybe encourage them to book a deluxe room if uh, you know they have booked two safaris with you you can try and encourage them to book three safaris or uh, you know in ranthambore for example you have the canter safaris you can encourage them to book a gypsy for a more personalized experience so how you go about it basically depends on your rapo and uh, rapo with your guests so this is where a personalized approach really comes into advantage so cross selling safaris boat safaris or boat rides you know uh, taking them to a local souvenir shop a camel ride or a horse ride or something and upselling is basically trying to market and upgrade to them uh is does anyone have any doubts uh, am i audible just wondering because my internet has had some problems so far i can hear you well uh, okay so if you can hear gorav well please put yes in the chat go go ahead go ahead okay uh so now that you have your experiences you have to add a little bit of value to them okay the first step is a personalized approach to show how much your knowledge is so for example if you are a bird guide right you're taking your guests on a walk you know they just want to identify birds so you don't say oh this is a tree pie this is a you know red billed blue magpie this is a college pheasant this is this this is this any bird guide can do that what you have to do is showcase your knowledge so for example you can say uh you know do you know that uh, forest owlets are found uh, near the forest edge you know towards near farms or uh, you know oh it's 11 o'clock this is the time that the magpies will be the most active so you know these little little things will basically uh make your guests realize how much of your knowledge is unique engage with your visitors through signs and posters you know tell them about your mission tell them about uh, you know why why your homestay why why they should choose your homestay over others uh, involve your family and team at a very personal level like mohit said you know take them to personal areas of the house you know they're not uh, they're not just your customers they're your guests okay atithi devo bahava is the uh, the, uh, the <clears throat> saying we always go back to where the guest is god 
so treat your treat them as guests and not just paying customers uh highlight visitor value systems using selfie points so you know you can have a place that would make a nice uh, would make for nice selfies would make for nice reels this not only you know with everyone uh, being influencers uh, at any level nowadays on social media this will not only uh, give them more content to create for their own page but it will also help with free marketing of your own home state and thanking them with genuine gratitude you know try to show that you are actually genuinely grateful for their uh, patronage or uh, you know for them visiting you and you know uh, urge them to look at sustainability if uh, maybe if they have expertise of their own you can ask for help with their knowledge for example uh, i recently uh, met a guest who uh, at our lodge who was an expert in uh, sustainable sewage systems for example so we asked him for his help you know he uh, got back to us it uh, you know it's a it's a way to improve your lodge as well and it's also a nice uh, personal thing to do you know uh, way to build your personal relationship with your guests and of course have a good feedback systems uh, something i'm coming i keep coming back to because it is very important uh, you know your feedback systems your complaints you know what what went wrong what can we uh, improve what can be done better maybe you think there's something that can be added to our you know list of experiences <clears throat> this all these little things will help you improve your home stay by a huge amount so all you need is three simple points and you can be among the best homestays out there so all you need to do is communicate through inclusivity empathy oneness basically you know uh, have that personalized approach where people visiting you feel like they're a part of your family as if they're a guest in your home and not uh, you know customers visiting a resort uh, feedback mechanisms will help you improve your game A, a lot. It will help you uh, find out, you know, what's wrong. It will help you fine tune all these small, small things that will make you better. Uh, reviews and testimonials. Uh, you know, put yourself in the custom in your guest shoes. If you are visiting a place for the first time, you will look at how other people have had experiences there. So reviews and testimonials go a great way in this. And I mean, if you want to look at it in another way, it's also content for your social media. and don't 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 forget to ask your guests for referrals you know uh, imagine that you know you have to pay for mark you are you have to pay for marketing right so if you can pay to market to 100 people and your guests each guest each of those 100 guests can get you another three guests you are getting basically 300 for the price of 100 i mean of course these are just this is just uh, you know hypothetical but uh referrals go a huge way uh in getting you uh, more clients and sorry more guests sorry i keep forgetting that uh and you know uh you know maybe you can give them a little incentive you can say it okay uh you know if you've got me a guest maybe on your next day i can give you a freebie maybe i can uh, make all your meals free or you know uh you know here's a discount for at other lodge or something like that you know you can give them a little gift to uh, incentivize it and don't just meet your competition out distance it so like i said most homestays will only market certain aspects you know whether there are place to go for really good food or maybe there are place with easy logistics you know close to the airport or close to the railway station or they have really good rooms but you have to have a unique selling point when you go through our entire webinar series you will have a usp which you can market well and they won't and it's only a limited approach to talk about one thing but you know whether it's the logistics or the facilities you can showcase your experiences and your personalized approach the personal touch is a big thing is a big step your friendliness your inclusivity goes a long way in pleasing your guests and avoid the temptation to follow or be on par with your competitors try and surpass them using your usp using your fine tuned management using your personalized approach your knowledgeable team your uh, better management skills etc so this is finally a life changing game you know you can be a market leader 
your uh, responsible ethical activities will get you eyeballs consistently you know people will keep talking about uh, you know oh how xnx homestay is uh, you know really doing great things for the local community or doing great things for the environment <clears throat> it'll and this will enhance your reputation both among your guests and the local communities okay local support is a big factor that could go a long way and you know you want to have support from both sides and this results in a positive cycle where your good reviews get you more clients these more clients would get you more good reviews will get you more clients and this is just a cascade it it's just up and up from here on out and uh, as you go along you know your management skills improve uh, you'll know how to uh, you know manage your resources sustainably so you know you'll be saving money your budgeting will be better you'll be more profitable and you can put this you know into improve you can put this money into improving your homestay maybe uh, getting into some uh, <clears throat> uh, maybe donating to some charity or so supporting some local other local businesses and again this goes back to enhancing your reputation among your local community so this was our short webinar you know maybe not so short but it was mostly a recap and uh, you know i hope we'll see you all of you for our next workshop that will be on in january 2023 thank you gaurav that was very very um, very informative very wonderful and i'd like to thank my team who works very hard to put these webinars together um put the information together uh, priya farin salil and um, uh, everyone else uh, got of you uh, have worked hard on this i think it's important to continuously deep dive into this because there are many aspects that we have omitted here right now because of um, a time constraint and we want to take this up and you did a recap of the first three in bits and pieces very well done so friends you've seen now what it entails and how to go about it this is not the the uh, this is just a beginning so we've still got six more webinars to go where we will be recapping a lot of stuff and then we'll be talking about various aspects of homestays and then once we are done then we want to start a little course where we will have very short 2 minute 3 minute assignments for people as they go along and it'll all be online which you can join but there's still time to to go ahead with that in the meantime if you've got challenges if you've got um uh, your problems or anything of that sort then you can reach out to us and we'll be able to help you we've got some friends up in the himalayas in uttarakhand who invited me over and i went and saw their homestays they're really pretty and of course the struggle is marketing and you know so we can give pointers immediately to to help people to come out of their marketing jams and uh, take this on seriously this, this is all free we're not charging for it and this is directly in line with the vision that asian adventures has so so make use of our expertise our expertise is your expertise go right ahead and ask us for whatever else that you want and thank you for being here today uh we be happy to uh, connect with you again in some time after we've decided the date for our january uh, webinar and the topic soon we will be um, uh, sending out an email to everyone uh, with the earlier webinar links and you'll also get the replay link of this webinar tomorrow in your inbox so keep an eye out for it thank you i hope it was useful thank you everyone thank you thank you thank you gorav thank you very much bye 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 good night